Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Fortuna here again. Um, and I wanted to do a, another in the bag video. Uh, the last one I did was very long and winded, and it was about give or take 25 30 minutes long. Um, I had to do 10 minute intervals, and even if I was able to do it all in one take, I doubt anyone wanted to sit there and listen to a video about what I throw and uh, what anybody would throw basically for 30 minutes. Um, so I kind of wanted to condense it down into a smaller video that probably everybody will watch um, here in this great location that looks kind of like a dungeon that's my bedroom. Um, but anyway, so let's get into it. Um, so I'll start with like mid-range and putters, those kinds of things. Um, for off the tee, up shots, drives, and all that kind of things. Um, I throw three different molds of putters. Um, I have a retro baseline Mercy. Um, this is going to be similar to um, probably like an APX or a putting approach AVR. Something that's um, fairly neutral, um, even like a magnet. I would say probably closer to a magnet than an APX, um, if you're going to compare to Discraft. Um, I get to throw this a little hard on a little hyzer and have it stand up and ride straight or have it do a nice little turnover shot or um, kind of a late fade at the end, uh, giving enough air. Um, this is this disc here is probably my main go-to approach disc besides this harp. Um, and that's just because it depends on if I'm throwing a backhand or sidearm upshot. Um, this one is going to be very similar to a breaker or zone SS, if that makes sense. Um, basically what I mean by that is just a glidier zone. Um, it's very, very uh, capable of withholding a line, or holding a line. Um, backhand or sidearm very nicely just ride straight once it hits it kind of does a little hop um, and then just sits and doesn't really skip anywhere or anything um, and then I have this tournament plastic shield um, basically a star blend ESP uh, one of those kinds of plastics you can compare it to and the shield is very similar to a challenger um, it is an overstable putter it does have a smaller bead here um this is a very durable durable plastic and i love throwing it as, i can throw it as hard as i want really and it holds pretty much any line that i put it on on an anheuser i'll have to throw it a little harder um but it will actually pan out and then just keep going it doesn't cut into the ground or anything too much for me um next i do have a stack of maces um, two of these are newer to the bag, um, a, a couple are pretty similar. Uh, these are going to be my most beat up ones. Um, these fly very similar to um, a rock or a wasp, um, maybe a little more similar to a wasp. A, lot, a wasp has a little less glide, a rock has a little more glide. Um, but I mean, all in all, these are probably some of my most favorite uh, mid-ranges, also because I can grab them in this plastic, which is zero hard, pro D, DX, or like just very stiff, um, hard blends, and they're all the same out of the box. Um, the ones that vary a little bit are going to be in the different plastics, which are going to be, here's another zero hard, this is brand new, um, are going to be gold lines and opto. I don't have an opto one in my bag, although I used to, I just don't have it anymore. Um, I lost it and I replaced it with these. Um, I have one that's a little domier. I know it's a little hard to see on the camera. Um, this one is a little straighter and then once it starts hyzering, it hyzers pretty hard. And then this one here is pretty flat like the the, um, the zero hards, but since it's more of a premium blend, um, it doesn't really beat up too quickly so it holds its stability fairly long. Um, I've had this in my bag for probably a month and a half now, and it hasn't changed on me at all. Um, throw it as hard as I want into a wind without a wind. Um, it does basically the same thing. The wind does affect it a little more, but it has yet to kind of do something crazy and like flip and dump on me. And it's like, what's going on with that shot? And that is yet to happen. Um, but 
if it's a much windier situation or time for like a utility shot or something like that um i do throw this justice um this is going to be probably one of the most overstable mid-ranges that's out there um it is a smaller diameter um kind of like what a zone or a gator is and this is basically what i just said is in between a zone and a gator um it's got a smaller lip like a zone does not quite as big as a gator um the bead is probably just as big maybe a little bit bigger um but these are all super, super flat and extremely overstable. Um, as soon as I got mine from the factory, it went straight into my bag. Um, I used to throw gators all the time, and I needed a replacement for it. I wasn't sure what I was going to be using. I was using a uh, a triple X at the time, um, and then this came out through it. After a throw or two, it was like, yeah, that's going to go in my bag. That's going to be my uh, replacement. So it's a great disc. I love it. This is the first one I got still in my bag um, months later, and I stockpiled a whole bunch extra just because I wanted extra. Um, so anyways, we'll go to fairway drivers. Um, right now I am short a fairway driver or two because I had lost them today. Um, and that is going to be a stag and a sear, and I'll talk to, those, talk to you about those uh, in a second. Um, so far my most favorite fairway driver besides one that is lost right now unfortunately is going to be the Sampo. Um, these are the Elasto ones that came with the Trilogy challenges and these are by far the best ones. Um, if you throw Sampos then I would stockpile as many as you can of these. The newer ones are flat and different and they are extremely flippy. I personally don't like them for my throw. Um, these are going to be very similar to a Thunderbird. Um, it's just they go a little farther than um, my Stag or a Saint Pro would or a Saint, but not quite as far as a Destroyer, uh, Giant, World, anything like that um, would go, but you can get it there if you give it more power. Um, it's just kind of like an easy go far fairway driver. Um, I mean, they're pretty pretty overstable, stable to overstable, I would say. Um, this one is going to be on the flippier side, so I can actually uh, throw it in a little hyzer, and it'll stand up, ride straight, hyzer out. As to where these ones are a little more stable, um, I got a bunch of these clear ones, which I love, and this one's actually very stable. I can throw it as hard as I want, and it'll hold a flat line. It'll turn a little bit to the right, and then start fading really nice. Um, but yeah, if you're looking, I don't know, if you throw them or not, um, check them out. This is by far my one of my most favorite discs in my bag. And then I have a Felon and a Saint. Now, the Saint is kind of in and out of my bag um, because of the Stag. Um, they're very similar. This is going to be a TL or... I'm not even sure. Like I know Rogue, a Rogue is a little faster, um, but it, regardless, it's a flippy fairway driver. Um, I can throw in a little hyzer, have it stand up, ride to the right, have a big turnover shot with it. Um, the stag is faster, um, and it's just a little smoother, a little cleaner, and I love the disc. Actually, I want to order some more tonight, um, just because I want some more. Uh, I was throwing some silly shots with it today, and I got punished for it. Um, and then anyways, I have the felon here. Now, this is going to be your Firebird or Crush-style disc. Um, it's almost exactly the same. I love it for sidearms or big swooping hyzers and those kinds of things. Um, since we're kind of running low on time, I will hop to the last couple discs in my bag, um, including my putters, which are going to be the Cadillacs of all putters, which I'm sure you've heard of. If not, they're called a Dagger. Um, they're a deep dish rim, big bead, uh, very similar to a KC Pro AVR or Focus or something like that. And then lastly I have the Enforcers, which are going to be your Excalibur style discs. Um, a couple Giants, which are going to be more Destroyer friendly. And then I have a Sword, which is going to be your really nice Wraith. Um, unfortunately, due to time and keeping this video here, just drop a like, let me know what you think. Um, I appreciate it, guys.